Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get amazing skin tones right inside Photoshop. Before we jump into how it actually works, there are a few things that I want to explain, especially if you're using the newer versions of Photoshop. This is something that you have to do just once and it's going to solve the problems that you're going to face if you're using the newer versions of Photoshop. But before we jump into it, I want to show you what I did in retouching this image. So I'm just going to hide this folder because it contains all of the retouching that I have done. And this is the after. So this is with the retouching that I have done. So you can see that in the before shot, I did get rid of some of the blemishes on her face. And then I also just, you know, filled the lipstick a little bit on her lips. And then in the eyes, I noticed the catch light was in the right, but it wasn't in the left. So it's something that I fixed when I retouched the image. And also her shoulders i just you know use the lookify tool to just bend it down a little bit so if i do the after you can see that the shoulder just goes down a little bit and then i also just duplicated the catch light from the eyes in the right or the left as you're looking at it right now and i just made a copy of it onto the other eye so here's before and here's after so now that we have that out of the way, I want to show you the way that we are going to be color grading this image. Again, the fastest way that you're going to color grade your images is if you're using my skin tone LUT. So if you don't have my melanin skin tone LUT, let me shamelessly plug this in here. Just click on the lookup table. If you don't have it, go onto my website and download my melanin skin tone LUT. But if you already have it, just click on color lookup. And in there, if you've already uploaded the LUTs into Photoshop, you should be able to easily just play with them in just one click so by clicking once you can see that we've assigned a beautiful color grid to the image and it's mapping it from the shadows midtones and into the highlights and when you click on another one like fire gold it just bronzes up the skin and makes it really warm and it's already looking really really amazing okay but let's just say you don't have my LUTs and you want to have amazing skin tones in your images. What we are going to be using is gradient map. But before I jump into it, we have two types of gradients in Photoshop. The first one is going to be the gradient map, like I mentioned early on. And what that does is based on the name, it maps your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights to the color that you're going to assign to that gradient. Okay. Again, so the gradient map assigns to your shadow and midtones and highlights whatever color that you have assigned to that gradient let me demonstrate that for you to see if i click on gradient map okay what we are going to use is the color red just for demonstrative purposes okay so i'm going to go into reds and i'm going to select this one so by clicking ok and clicking on reverse now you can see that from our darks to our midtones and to our highlights we've been able to map those colors with the colors present in our gradient map if you look at the gradient map right here you can see that it says from the shadows all the way to the lights we are replacing with this color so anywhere in your image that is dark is going to retain this color anywhere in your midtones is going to have this color right here and anywhere in your highlights is going to have this color right there the next gradient that we have is called gradient fill. So let me delete this gradient map and show you how that works. So if you just click on your gradient fill and let me also go back into reds and I'm just going to click on the same color that we selected with the gradient map, see what happens. So when I click on it, it's going to apply the gradient fill. But as you can see, based on the name, it is filling our entire canvas with that color. And this is not what we want. You might think that, oh, if you go into blend mode, you'd be able to use soft light to map these colors into your image. But as you can see, it's not mapping the shadows in the image all the way to the highlights. What it's doing is mapping from top all the way to bottom based on the gradient map. So if you're using the gradient fill, this is the problem you're going to face. If you're using the gradient map, then you're going to be able to assign the colors to your shadows, your midtones and highlights based on what you assign to your gradient. All right, now that we have this out of the way, in order to color grade skin tones, there were some gradient maps that were present in the earlier versions of Photoshop that were called photographic toning. But unfortunately, if we go through the options right now, we won't find those gradient options. You can see if I go into basics, blues, oranges, neutrals, we have all those folders inside our gradients, but we don't have photographic toning. This is with the gradients fill. If I come back into the gradient map and I 
select on the gradient and click on this gear icon you think that i should be able to append the gradient and then we'll find it there but we still don't find those photographic toning options in there if we go through the options you see it's the same as the gradients fill options we have basics we have purples oranges grays pastels neutrals but we don't have a uh, photographic toning so now this is how the gradient fill and the gradient map work hand in hand they share basically the same gradients okay but once we can't import the gradient map the photographic toning gradient maps inside the gradient map tool it means that we should be able to do that inside the gradient fill all right if you don't see where your gradient fill is just go to window and then come down to gradient fill or to gradients all right so click on gradients it's going to open up your gradients fill and now what you can do is click on the menu right here and then come down to legacy gradients you'd see that it's introduced a new folder at the bottom here called legacy gradients so now we're going to open the legacy gradients and when i scroll down a little bit you see that these are the gradients that we had in earlier versions of photoshop so color harmonies one color harmonies two neutral density photographic toning that we are looking for special effects and all of those are back now inside gradients okay but again remember what i said in the beginning if we click on any color right here so if i open the photographic toning and then i select this skin tone color for example you see that we are mapping or we are filling the entire canvas with the color so this is the problem that you'd face if you're using the gradient fill option and that is not what we want again to further hammer this in if i change the blend mode from normal to soft light you'd see that we are changing the color of our entire canvas from top to bottom mapping it with the color that we chose but we are not mapping the skin tones we're not mapping the darks the mediums and the highlights to that color that we are looking for it means we don't need to use gradient fill if you want to color grade your skin tones all right so I'm going to delete this, but notice we now have our photographic toning present inside here. And I said the gradient fill and the gradient map share the same tool. Okay. So now we're going to click on gradient map. And now when we click on the drop down, we should be able to see our legacy gradient. So if I click on there and open up the box, you'd see that we have photographic toning now present. Initially, this was not currently it is and you need to do this just one time once you've been able to you know solve this legacy gradient issue you don't need to do it every single time that you open photoshop all right so now we're going to go into photographic toning and we're going to select the same skin tone that we have selected in the beginning and now you see that it's mapping from shadows to highlight the color that we have selected if i click on any other color you see that we're still able to map from shadow mid-tone and highlights based on the color that we select if I click on this one as another example, you see that over here in the dark tone areas, we are mapping those in the same color space that we've assigned. And in the mid tones, we have the same colors present. And in the highlights, we have white there. And that is what is being represented right here. So we're going to go back to our skin tone and select that. And you can see that from shadow to highlights, we've given it this color tone that looks really, really good. All right. So now we're going to change it from normal all the way to soft light and we'll also adjust our opacity just to map the colors and make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're going to pull this down all the way to about, let's say 30%, do it before and after. And when I zoom in, you'd see that we are changing the color. It's looking really, really nice. Okay. So here's before and after simple click we've been able to color grade this image but the issue now that we are facing is it's affecting our background and it's also affecting the lipstick but in order to save time i've already gone ahead to draw those like the lipstick and the background i've done those selections already so what i'm going to do is just click on command or control click on the backdrop hold shift and it's going to bring up the plus icon and when i click on the lipstick it's going to select that as well so now when i go back onto my layers and i just fill those areas with black it's just going to clean those gradients out of those areas and so our background is now going back to the actual color that it was as we shot here's a before and here's an after you can see it's only affecting her skin tone we can even go down on the opacity a little bit more so maybe 21 percent here is before and here is after so that's it we've been able to get amazing skin tones in photoshop using this trick
If you enjoyed this video and if you got some value out of it, click the like button to support the channel. If you don't want to go through all of these processes and then you want to use my color lookup table or my skin tone lots, you can just go onto my website and purchase it. It supports the channel and then also leave a like as another way of supporting the channel and comment down below if you found value in this video. All right, that's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in another one. And remember, don't ever give up.